Choose the camera that you are using in your equipment setup. We recommend using the Orbeck Astra, but you can also use the Kinect for Xbox One. Don't use a web camera if you are pointing it directly at the game. Choose the display that you want the game to appear on. If you connected a laptop or a computer with a monitor to your projector, then you will have two display options available. The display options can be identified by a number in the top left-hand corner of the display. The mask step is crucial to the accuracy of the games. The first step is to check to see if the top left-hand corner marker matches up with the corner marker in the video feed. If it doesn't, rotate the video feed until it is in position. Then, move the mask handles from the corners to meet the corner of the projection in the video feed. For wall ball games to respond to people when they throw balls at the wall, you will need to calibrate the software in a very specific way. To start, set the right grip of the detection range all the way to the right. Then slowly move that same grip back until parts of the wall turn dark gray. Then slowly move the left hand grip to the right so that it's about half a meter less than the right grip. If the wall appears to have a gradient to it in the video feed, adjust the gradient sliders until it appears a consistent shade of gray throughout, like this. Crank the sensitivity slider all the way to the right. If blue blobs are occurring when there's no movement, move the sensitivity slider back just a touch until it stops. Wave your hand close to the wall in all corners to make sure the wall is reacting. You will know it's reacting if you see blue blobs in the test game. Throw a ball at the wall to make sure it's reacting. Clear the area of objects and people and take a picture.